Ugh, man, where to even begin, hey? All this, better pack all of this. And man, I just do not want to. This is tough, this is a struggle. I've been wanting to, I've been needing to pack up everything, at least start the pack up for like three days now. And I just can't get motivated to do it. There's no excitement behind this. It's just like something that just shouldn't have happened. <laughs> It's so dumb, I just can't believe it. I can't believe I need to leave, man. Like, it just sucks. It was such a good spot, but it's, I can't, I can't expand here. I can't do what I wanted to do. But instead, I've got to leave and I've got to pack up. I don't even have a place to go yet, but my lawyer said, I've got to get out ASAP. Can't do anything here apart from store stuff. Got to limit my time here to an hour a week. Otherwise, it's, just, it's full on illegal. I got another year for my lease, so I need to break that. I gotta find another place still. That's the, that's just the crap part, man. It's Christmas Eve right now, and I'm like, <laughs> this is my life. Oh well, I gotta start. I gotta start. I just don't wanna. As I'm doing it all, I'm just, I'm thinking about, you know, obviously just the year that's passed and everything, and how like I was starting to, you know, just, just plan things. It feels like every time I get somewhere, just spanners in the works, but it's just that overcome and adapt situation. I'll find somewhere that's gonna be wicked. It was like, this is just the perfect setup and like there's no way around. I've looked, man, I've spent hours looking for, um, for new places. This sucks, this. <laughs> this is like the most depressing vlog ever. I'm really hoping that the, you know, the second half of this vlog will be me going, hells yeah, I just found a sick place. It's awesome, let's load in, this is way better. Oh, it's fear of the unknown. I can't believe this is the last time I'm walking down the stairs. This is hard, you know, like, man, I was only getting started here far out. It's just tough when you've like, when you have a dream and it's, it's real, it's there, you, you got it in your hands and it just, it just didn't work out. Just. Memories of like everything. The HZ, the HZ's gone, the photo studio. I'm not pulling the black stuff off the windows yet because it's amazing. We, me and Emma, we did such a good job and I just can't bring myself to pulling that off. And I think the next tenant's gonna want this anyway. So I'm just leaving it. I do believe everything happens for a reason. I really do. And this has happened for a reason. And I already feel like it's, you know, the dots are all starting to connect and everything. But one day I'm going to buy a warehouse and I'm going to deck it out and it's going to be the most insane thing you've ever seen. I've got a new feels joint and it's sick. I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm living there as well. I just got to set it up. So it's going to take me a little while to set up. Say bye guys. What an absolute mission. That is pretty much all the stuff that was in the warehouse. We loaded it here all in one day. Thank you so much, Romina. My beautiful girlfriend, Romina. Just me and her hired a van and we just got it here, smashed it out. It was hectic. And now I have to go through all this. So keen to sink my teeth into this. And this is the office area. So I can start getting my camera gear set up again, helmets and stuff. This is the thing, got nice air cons everywhere. And then this is gonna be the storage room. Much to do, much to do. Alrighty, let's go. During this time, during this transition, the stress that I felt was not ideal. My mental health was in jeopardy. I was anxious, I was depressed that I was leaving. And then mid this year, my grandfather... Ah, it's tough, it's tough. Uh, my grandfather passed away in June. Uh, and then a couple of months ago, me and my partner of four and a half years decided it's best that we um, we go our own ways. And that was, it's been tough. It's been really tough. <sighs> Sorry guys, I didn't mean to put on the waterworks. I know it's okay to cry. It's been a wild year, you know, um, full life changing, life changing year. And the only thing I can do for myself is check in on my mental health, which I have been I have been doing. I've been seeing a therapist and I'm not ashamed of saying it. That saying, you never see a motorcycle parked at the front of a therapist's office. I've proved that wrong. 
many times. If therapy is something that you've been feeling like you want to do, but haven't had the, the courage to go out and do it, then BetterHelp is the solution for you and are the sponsors of this week's video. Regardless if you have a clinical mental health condition like anxiety or depression, or if you're just a human who lives in this world that's gone through a hard time, therapy can give you the tools to approach your life in a different way. And that's why I'm excited to tell you guys about BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy accessible. And this is an important mission because finding a therapist can be hard. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easy because it's online. It's remote and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a credentialed therapist in as little as a few days. It's super easy to get matched up with a therapist. If you use my link in the description below, which is betterhelp.com slash motorfills, you will not only help support the channel, but it'll also get you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. And because finding a therapist is a little like dating, if you don't really fit with that therapist, which is a common thing with therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. Therapy in general, all around the board, is daunting at first. And I've been wanting to see someone for so long and it's always just that, mm, I'm not sure if I want to do this. But every time I do do it and I go and I chat, you just literally spill everything out. Things that you wouldn't even tell your loved ones, you know. They're not there to judge you, they're there to listen and to guide you. It's helped me get through a lot of this year because as we know, life doesn't stop. Everything just keeps going. Therapy has helped me gain control of my life again and um, keep moving forward, planning forward. So if you are struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description below or visit betterhelp.com slash motorfills for your 10% off your first month of therapy. And thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Let's do this TAM tour. <laughs> Uplifting music, let's go. Boom. Let's start with the office. This is the space that I spend most time in when I'm editing. And it's probably the space that you're most familiar with, with me sitting right there, talking, talking. This is the angle. Now when editing all the time, flat out 10 hours a day, 10 plus hours a day, you need to get yourself a sit stand desk because otherwise you blow your back out, which I did years ago. And Desky graciously sent me this guy. You can set all your programs, you can have it rise to whatever height you want. This is the dark bamboo color. Um, it's, it's pretty hard to see on the camera, but it looks so good. I think it looks the part. I love the whole, you know, monochrome black and white thing. And then underneath, I ordered the rail as well so that it's got the power supply there. So you just need one lead and it powers everything up. And this piece of art right here, this is Desky's Ergo Pro Plus chair. This thing is amazing. I can't believe how much better it is to sit on. You can adjust everything, your lumbar, your head. It's so good. It's super comfortable. I love it so much. Thank you, Desky for sending me out all your deliciousness right here. Links from the description below if you wanna check these out. I bought this. This is from Desky as well though. Um, so it all mounts up all nicely with my huge <laughs> 34 inch widescreen monitor, which I dig. And I bought the 14 inch MacBook Pro maxed out. I got the smaller one so I can pack it and take on my rides or my adventures and everything like that. Of course, I have the quad lock mag charger. That's a must for the desk. Just chuck your phone on there. That's the best. And then you can put your AirPods there if you've got the upgraded AirPods or whatever. And this little thing here, this is cool. I bought this. This is a, a BenQ controller for my light bar right there. So you just wave your hand on top of the thing and it lights up. And then, yeah, you can just tap and adjust. And this is wireless as well which is really, really cool. The dial's really nice and smooth, look at this. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, change white balance, put on auto, do whatever you want. And it's really nice that it has the option to turn this light on here. So this is an ambient light. So when you're editing at night, it lights up the room, your eyes don't strain. It's a bit of a game changer. I, I can't work without it now. I actually really, really like it. And it's got some sound paneling. They're just like foam, foam boards. They help a little bit and they sort of make the place or the room just look a little bit more, I don't know, sort of symmetrical. And then behind me, I've got all my camera stuff and my helmets. And then I've got all my jackets and all my gloves and everything like that, all in all this. All right, let's move on to the next room. That is Studio A and this is Studio B. And this is where I set everything up. You might recognize this space. This is where I do all my like action camera stuff, filming, B-roll. Uh, it's a cool little workbench. I've got the man -man light up here. I took the toolbox from downstairs and I've dragged it up here. There's nothing really in it, apart from some like the, the crappy tools. That's, that's good for doing stuff here. Moving along, this is sort of my storage, a massive storage area. I've got bike parts, I've got camping gear, all my mic adapters and all that sort of stuff in this. Camera gear, cables and all that sort of stuff. And then on this side, 
we have where all the all the goodies are. The thing I like about this is that it's got the light behind it. So when my gear gets all wet and it gets <laughs> super wet, I can just put it here. I know that everything's gonna be dry. It's all aerated. I take the batteries out, I leave them out. So, you know, nothing gets all moist and dewy. And the cool thing about this is that I've got it hooked up to a Wi-Fi like PowerPoint thing. So I can via my phone, turn on the PowerPoint wherever I am or turn it off. If I know that I need say Insta 360 batteries, then I can turn it on when I'm on my way home to make sure that all my batteries are charged. When I get here, everything's done. Boom, away we go. I think it's pretty cool. So that's all action camera stuff. This is all the microphone stuff. And then I've got all my cables organized, USB, powers, video cables, and audio cables. It's all pretty structured. Everything's all pretty sorted in here. So that's Studio B. Now let's go down to the garage. So obviously it's not as big and glamorous as my warehouse. I do very much so miss it, but it works. It's functional. I rejigged all this just the other day before I had my toolbox there. So I bought this shelving unit, bought this little guy, um, and this will be super handy just to put tools on and wheel it out, work on my bikes and stuff, and it has its own little, little hardy hole. Boop. Boots, jacket, gloves, my favorite helmets, Goggles up there as well. So everything's sort of down here. Backpacks, workbench, you know, it's all pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. It's a garage. And then of course, my two lovely motorcycles hanging out, making love with each other. Oh yeah, baby. So I've used this space quite a bit. I did the whole T7 build in here. It's obviously a lot more squishier, <laughs> not as much space to do everything, especially moving the light around and everything like that. I, I like this place. But the garage is what's the biggest downer, 100%. I'd love it to be at least another one over. That way I can park my bikes here and my latest purchase, which is right there. Should I show you now? <laughs> I'm gonna show you now. I'll show you at the end of the video. How about that? I'll show you. It, it, like it is what it is, you know? It's nothing crazy. It's just a little townhouse garage. This isn't my forever place. This is a stepping stone for my next, my next venture, my next thing I'm gonna do. And next year is gonna be a big year, which I'm semi-terrified about. <laughs> Life's crazy and there's no, there's no controlling it, you know? You can only adapt and overcome. But we're here and I'm trucking on. I'm still going. Mental health is in check. Thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for supporting me and being along the ride, being along the journey. And, uh, oh, I've got I'll to show you the thing downstairs. Let's go. Jake.